whether she was guilty or not today by this, the slim evidence the jury had to um, look at, um, you know, doesn't matter. He was not coming back. Avery's gone. He only lives in our memories and our hearts. There is no justice when a child is lost. The woman accused in the dog mauling death of her six year old son was found not guilty today. Yeah, Las Cruces jury acquitting her in that 2021 accident. KFOX 14 News advised Harrison Parker was in court and has more from those moments when that verdict came down. Harrison. That's right, Danica Jackson, the mother of Avery Jackson Dunphy, was acquitted in the abandonment of a child resulting in death today. Now, Avery's passing happened after he visited his grandparents and he was mauled by a family dog. Jackson's acquittal led to some tense moments in court between her supporters and the loved ones of Avery's father. Take a look. I don't laugh. That's yeah. Hey, knock it off. Okay, stop. Patrick Dunphy, Avery's father, was furious with the jury's verdict and said critical evidence was left out by the judge. He shared his anger with us during a press conference today. The pattern and practice of Danica continually leaving Avery un unsupervised, resulting in multiple serious injuries, hospital visits, loss of custody. Danica had to go through a safety plan um, in order to understand that it was not wise to leave Avery in dangerous situations. If this jury saw some of the photos, his neck was ripped out. He had nearly 26 wounds on his back. He was cold, blue on arrival. He was out there for a significant period of time alone. Dunphy alleged numerous instances of injuries to Avery sustained under Danica's care, including one obtained from a horse that he said led to an eye patch and a lazy eye for Avery. We have yet to confirm these details with authorities. His stepmom, Joanna Dunphy, also spoke about her pain. Avery died alone, completely by himself, nobody to hug him and tell him he's okay, and I got you. He was absolutely alone. We have no idea the pain and suffering that he went through other than what we could see from the injuries on his body. Patrick Dunphy said no matter what the jury decided, today wouldn't be enough. Whether she was guilty or not today by this, the slim evidence the jury had to um, look at, um, you know, doesn't matter. He was not coming back. Avery's gone. He only lives in our memories and our hearts. There is no justice when a child is lost. Well, we tried to speak to Danica Jackson, her family and her attorney, but they declined to speak. Now, Avery's grandfather is still on trial in this case. And Patrick Dunphy said there are more details to come out. We'll certainly keep you posted as this story unfolds. Reporting from Las Cruces, Harrison Parker, KFOX 14 News at 5.